matter our age, men and women hear a very clear message that taller is better. Now there's a new debate. Should we be giving children drugs so they can grow taller? Poor Mike is 5'9", but with Max Toll in his shoes, Mike is nearly six feet tall. Pediatric endocrinologist Angela Lennon can help with that if you qualify. I'm here to help people with health problems, not I just want to be taller. Dr. Lennon helps people like 13-year-old Angela Schilling. She's pretty average. It's something the Schillings celebrate. It, it's a miracle. Uh, it is a miracle. Seven years ago, Angela's parents started to notice their little girl was truly little, by far the shortest in her class. She was, I don't know, just over 40 pounds. An endocrinologist told them Angela had a growth hormone deficiency. She was only expected to grow to four feet, seven inches tall. I was just really concerned that if she didn't have this treatment, that she would go through life just feeling that she didn't fit in. That treatment? Growth hormone injections every day for years, a decision that wasn't easy. This is the way God would want her to be, and that we might be messing with that. Dr. Lennon says not everyone who asks for the drug has a medical condition. A lot of people just want it cosmetic, pure cosmetic. In 2003, the FDA began allowing growth hormone treatment for people who are perfectly healthy, just short. It was the idiopathic short statute that opened the floodgate. Dr. Lennon says the average woman is 5'5", five five, the average man 5'9". But if you're a woman expected to be no more than 4 feet 11, or a man no taller than 5'3", you can qualify for growth hormone treatment. It's causing a debate in the medical community. More people come like, I'll just pay for it, and then they know, get the prize, and they're like, oh, okay. Without insurance, the drugs can cost tens of thousands of dollars per year. That keeps most people who don't need it at bay. But even if a family has the means... I would not treat that. I mean, that's like, no, no, no. That's like my ethical obligation. Okay, Angela. Angela's case was never about vanity, and the shillings say well worth the cost of treatment. That's because now Angela is almost 5'2". Like any drug, human growth hormone injections can cause some serious side effects. People taking them can develop muscle, nerve, and joint pain. High cholesterol is another problem.